Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm just going to make this quick video. Hopefully I'll keep it really short for you guys. I just want to try to be a little helpful. I've gotten some comments about my Camtasia 2 video, how you can actually reset that trial period and you can make it last forever. Some people are having a, a tough time actually using the terminal command in order to show all files on your Mavericks operating system. So hopefully this will help you guys. A couple things I just want to cover with you real quick. You'll just need to get into your terminal. I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on here. And then I'm going to open up a finder window just so you guys can actually see what else is going on here. Okay, so in my video I describe how you can use this command, which is the default space write space com dot apple dot finder space apple show all files and then execute the command with true. Just finish the command with true, all uppercase. Pay attention to this command. You need to make sure that you are using the right characters. Sometimes terminal will not execute a command if they're case sensitive. Some commands are case sensitive. Make sure you are inputting this command accurately and then go ahead and hit enter to execute the command. Secondly, sometimes you need to actually relaunch your finder. It's kind of like just restarting everything so that way those hidden files and folders will appear on your system. There's two ways to do that. You can use a kill all space capital F for finder command and enter and this will relaunch my finder. And when I do so, just to prove to you guys, there will be two files over here that will appear once I relaunch. Because I've executed my command, now I'm going to relaunch my finder. Give it a second, and then there you go. You can see these two hidden files. So, use your command, relaunch your finder. The other way you can do it is by hitting simultaneously the escape option and command key and you're going to get the force quit application screen. You can select finder and you can click relaunch. So if I click that, that's just going to go ahead and relaunch my finder. And again, because we didn't change the command, nothing else was altered here. And you can see those files. So in the video, then we navigate to our library folder. In order to do that, you would go to your finder window. You can select go and you can go to the go to folder right there or you can use the shortcut keys which I did in the video which is shift command G will give you the same result this window will pop up and then you're going to use the tilde key forward slash library go go into your application support and then there's your settings like uh, settings file that you need to delete this is the one I'm talking about and this is a hidden file and just again to prove to you guys again I'll even rehide it because once you delete that, you really want to hide all of your files again so you don't inadvertently cause any issues. In order to rehide everything, you use the same command. You simply change the last character to false, hit enter. Then we're going to use our same command again of kill all finder. Now, watch the finder. See these two hidden files? Well, we're going to, we're going to hide them again. There you go. They're hidden. That's why you can't find them unless you use the command. Make sure you type this in accurately. Make sure you relaunch your finder. The last thing I'm going to leave you with is make sure you are also in an administrator account. If you're using a standard user account, some commands in terminal will not work. Make sure you're in an administrator account. Hope this works. Please subscribe. Please like it. Please leave me any comments. Hopefully I didn't take up too much of your time, but it answers your questions. I really appreciate the feedback, guys. I'm looking forward to making more tutorial videos for you. We'll see you guys later. Bye.